G'day and welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at November 6, 2024's Renban Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ, so my, my name is Bill Murphy. It's my pleasure to solve this one for you today. How are we all doing? I hope you're holding up wherever you are in the world. Um, take care of yourselves. I, some of us may need that a little bit more today. Um, that being said, let's get into it. Uh, hey, we're Gas Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve Genuinely Approachable Sudoku for you. For you. I forget how cameras work. Uh, the solver reading this. Uh, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love, we love you all equally. Um... Let's just get into it. Um, you've got puzzles, to, I've got puzzles to solve, and then chicken schnitzels to eat. So, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, uh, each box, each row, and each column contain the... <laughs> what is a column, Bill? Uh, each, yeah, uh, contain the digits one time, once each. Now, uh, in the grid, there are consecutive, uh, there are purple lines. These are Renban lines. Each pink line uh, contains a set of consecutive digits, uh, which may appear in any order. So this could be three, two, and four, because two, three, and four are consecutive, but we can make that work however we want. Um, yeah, that being said, let's just get into it, man. All right, so this line has to have, because uh, whenever you're solving a Renban puzzle, easiest thing to do is try and find uh, ones and nines on a line because they're always gonna be fixed. Up here, uh, we've got a two. Uh, so this line has to be one, two, and three, but I can't put the two there, so this is two and three. Now, uh, because I can't put a three consecutive to a four, uh, it means that this line has to be five and six over here, uh, because I now have to put eight and nine onto this puzzle, but I cannot put a nine uh, there. This is eight, and this is nine. Uh, nine must be consecutive to eight. So. Um, over here, this, uh, this line is slightly more constricted, not a massive amount, uh, but, uh, because it's got an eight, it must have a seven. Now, because a seven, and, uh, I need to put, uh, I, there are scenarios where I don't end up putting the nine on this line, uh, which is, uh, possible, because, like, over here, didn't put a nine on the line there. Uh, but this line has to have a 7 somewhere on it because uh, it can only ever be 987 or 876. That's a way that you can solve these lines in your head. Uh, so, because I need to put 7 and 7 can't go there, 7 must go there. Oi, 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 7 goes there. Now, uh, because I have a 6 in the grid, I can never put this as a 6. Sorry, box. Mm. Uh, now, 5 and 4 go there. Uh... Now, I need to place a two and three in that box. Two over here means that this has to be three, this has to be two. Uh, now, because uh, this has a two and a three there, uh, this cannot be a two, so this has to be a four, which unwinds this box. Uh, because I have a one here, uh, this cannot be one, two, so it must be two, three. Uh, seeing that there's symmetry in a clover puzzle, it kind of alluded to the fact that maybe I didn't, uh, do the full symmetry, and I didn't, uh, 8 here means I can't put a 9 there, uh, so that's a 7. Um, let's look down in this box. So, 2 sees this line, so I can't put a 2, uh, consecutive to a 3, so I need to put a 4 and a 5. This 4 over here means that uh, this has to be five and then four. Uh, six and then five, that becomes unwound. Now, what can this line be? It can either be eight, seven, six, or seven, six, five, but regardless, I need to put a six on it in either case. Uh, so because the six can't go there, six has to go here. Eight down here looks up at this cell, meaning that it cannot be eight, seven, six, so it must be seven, six, five. Now, uh, there is some more stuff, probably. Yeah, uh, where does 5 and 7 go in column 9? Can't go in those cells, so they must go in these ones. Now, uh, what's this digit? Well, it can't, uh, because this, uh, words, uh, 
five, if this was five, it would need to be consecutive to a four and a six, but I just put a four and a six down here. So the way this works is that has to be seven, uh, eight, and one. Can we pull the same logic over here? We sure can. Uh, that's a five and a six. If this is a six, then I would need to put either a five or a seven. But if I'm putting a six there, that becomes a five. And I've already put a seven there. So this has to be five and six, uh, four and three, and that's a two. Can I do the same logic over here? No, in Clover, almost certainly. That's a four and a five. Uh, if I didn't already have that five over there, could I do the same logic? Uh, yes, I could. Uh, if I put a four there, I would need to put either a three or a five there, and I have both of those in the box. So uh, this is a four and a five. That's a six and a seven. Uh, and then, oh, uh, I can't quite uh, carry. Oh, Oh, can I carry the symmetry the whole way around? Almost. Uh, that's an eight. Uh, so this has to be a one and a nine. Uh, if I put a one there, that has to be a two. And I've already got a two in the corner there. So that is nine and one. Eight and seven. Um, all right. So uh, we are almost into clean up mode. Uh, one, two, and seven. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, let's, I'm going to just... This is a little bit more aggressive pencil marking than I would normally do because I like to try and at least show you how to solve these. But what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm just missed that. Okay, that's one. That's a nine. Um, cool. All right. I will come up here and see if I've missed something else. Have I missed something else? That's a one, two, and a three. Uh, oy, oy, oy. Uh, my screen's really bright right now, so... Uh, the pink and the blue are clashing hideously. And like, when I say clashing hideously, you should see the pants I'm wearing right now. I know clashing hideously. Uh, that's the most Grand O'Brien comment I've ever made in my life. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just unwind this Ramban line. Uh, if this was five, uh, if this was one, two, three, I would have to put a three there, but I already have a three in that column. So I know that this has to be five, six, and seven. Uh, so I'm going to take the 7 out of that. That's a 1. Uh, where do I put the 1 up here? 1 has to go there. Uh, that's a 2 and 3. 4, 8, and 9 to place. I can do all of that. That's lovely. That's 4, 8, and 9. Uh, this is 1, 2, and 5. Oh, I can just do all of that. Wait. No, it's not 5. It's not 5. Back up. Back up. But that's a 2. Um, which is nice because I know that that can't be a 6 because... Anything with a six on it, the lowest it could go is four, so it wouldn't be able to meet those digits. So that's a one, that's a six. It's going to undo most of this puzzle for me, because I now know that that's a two, three pair, and that two is three, two, three, and now I'm just into clean up mode. Uh, four, eight, nine, uh, five, six, three, nine, eight, nine. Four, uh, seven, eight, two, three, two, six. So uh, that's been Renman Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy, last time I checked. Uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Go and, you know, relax, take a bath or something, you know. Um, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.